AP solution can dissolve your gold. I repeat, AP solution can dissolve your gold, but not like you may think. Let me explain. Okay, so when you're using AP solution uh, to recover the gold from electronics, what ends up happening is the AP solution will go after the weaker metal first. In this case, it's going to be the copper. So as long as there's copper in there, it is not going to touch the gold at all. Actually, it takes a lot longer to dissolve gold in AP solution than it does copper. Copper happens real quick while uh, gold can take almost hours to a day. Okay, but like I said, as long as copper is present, it will not attack the gold. Uh, so if you leave your product inside the AP solution for too long, then yes, it's going to eat up the copper and then it start attacking your gold. Okay, so um, you cannot cement uh, copper out of AP solution with gold uh, because some reason it just it doesn't work that way right? in a chemistry way it doesn't work that way uh, but you can use iron uh, in another I believe it's aluminum uh, but anyways uh, we're not talking about that what we're talking about is gold being liquefied into the AP solution so uh, yes it can liquefy your gold over time if there's no copper present no more from the boards right uh, so what you want to do is you're of course going to keep your eye on it once uh, you you filter out your gold you can do a Stannous chloride test on your solution. Now, this solution has been sitting for a while uh, when I'm about to uh, recycle my AP solution so I can reuse it by cementing out the copper. I like to let it sit for a while so all the little crystals can fall out. The little crystals are uh, 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 tent crystals, okay? So they're tent uh, chloride crystals. Now, you do want those to precipitate out before uh, filtering out your AP solution because you can filter it out and then they'll end up precipitating out. You have to filter it again. So let it sit for a few days to precipitate all the uh, the tent crystals out. That's going to get all the all the tent out of solution. Now you just have copper in your solution. From there you can cement it out with iron. But that's a whole nother video. If you guys want that video, make sure you drop it in the comments that you want that video. Now let's get back to the AP solution dissolving the gold. Now, like I said, as long as you're keeping an eye on it, you're good. Everything's good. Uh, now, it will speed up the process if you apply heat. So try to stay away from heat. Uh, but if you'd like to keep an eye on it, it's all good, right? As long as you see the gold's off of all the boards, pull it out because there's still some copper in there. Uh, it just attacks the gold that it, uh, the copper that's underneath the, the gold plating, which is easier to attack before it gets the copper that is underneath uh, the uh, soldering mass. So what I'm trying to say here is after you filter it all out and you get your gold flakes, you can actually refine your uh, your gold flakes with a different batch of uh, with a new batch of AP solution. Same ratio as well. OK, uh, but.